Hi, my name is Maz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to post events from animations. We're going to work in the Wise Adventure game. And in this game, there's already a lot of events connected to certain animations, like, like when you swing your sword, you get this whoosh sound. Or when you take a step, a footstep sound will be played. To demonstrate this, we're going to use one of the Wise 301 certification scenes. So go to Audio Kinetic Certification 301 Lesson 4 and Posting Events from Animations. In a previous video, we already showed you how to post an event from a script. We're going to link a certain point in time in the animation to this script so that the event will be posted whenever a certain point in the animation is reached. First off, you need to add the post wise event script to the player. If you do not have that script, you can either copy paste the code from the certification documentation or you can go back to the previous video and watch how to write the script. Today we're gonna implement the footstep sounds. So click the player and add the post wise event script. To open the script, you can double click the post wise event or you can go down to the project view and find the script. When you create a new script, like we did in the previous video, it's usually located in the assets folder. Last time we created a AK wise type event property and called it my event. We also made it public so it's visible in the inspector and we posted the sound from the start function. The start function is always called whenever you enter play mode. But if you rename it to something like play footstep sound, this function will no longer be triggered whenever you enter play mode. So now we can reference this function in the animation. And to make this function visible outside of the script, you also have to add a access modifier just like the property above. So in front of void, write public and a space. Go to file and save the script. Go into Unity. Before we head into the animations, let's assign an event. To assign an event, you go to the my event, wise event property and go to events, go to player, go to soundbank specific and choose the player footstep event. So now you can head into the animations and the animations can be accessed using the animation window. So go to window and go to animation and drag the animation tab down somewhere in your Unity interface. In the animation window, you'll see a lot of small keyframes in the right side and in the left side, you'll see the corresponding property. Let's go to the player sprint animation. In the timeline of the animation, you can drag the time cursor back and forth to get a preview of the animation. So what we need to do is whenever the player is placing a foot on the ground, we need to play a sound. And once you've done that, you can press the add event. So this is an animation event. This means that whenever the animation encounters a animation event, it will trigger the function that we assigned in this animation event. So make sure you've selected the animation event. So it highlights in blue and then go to the function property in the inspector and now search for the play footstep sound function we created in the script. This is all you need to call a function from an animation. So you can now press play to test it. You have now added a footstep sound to the right foot, but you also need to add the footstep sound to the left foot. So let's do that as well. Take the time cursor onwards until the left foot is on the ground and you can right click and select add animation event. Then go to the animation events function property and select the play footstep sound and try it out again. So that's it. That's how you post an event from an animation. If you want to learn more about how to use WISE in Unity, check out the WISE 301 certification.